I guess the Christie works really well for film and television because the stories are twisted and great. The undertow of it, there's a sense of it's really great entertainment. And with some of the marbles and the Poirots, you're in a very safe place. Here's the thing, here's the murder, here's the plot, here's the mystery, and here's the person who's going to unravel it. And it's, it's very satisfying. You, you've got a, something that's gloriously produced, it's well plotted. My take on it, and one of the reasons I personally find it really satisfying to write for, to write and put on the small screen, is that the stories are, are dark. I like kind of getting really under the, the surface of it because there's always a sense when you're watching these kind of shows, and my God, look at Midsummer Murders. Murder is a really popular thing. It's extraordinary. You sit down and you're going like, oh, Midsummer Murders, it's all just a load of fun. Miss Marple, it's fun. Poirot is fun, it's entertaining, it's murder. One of the really shocking things that I think that why and then there were numbers so extraordinary, why the witness for the prosecution is extraordinary, is that there is a very strong sense that to murder someone, to take their life, you tear a hole in the universe, you absolutely rend it, and th then everything changes. The world itself changes, you are changed by being part of this terrible event that's occurred. It's like profoundly kind of philosophical in that way. And what I like doing with it is, you think you know where you are, and now let's just twist it so that you don't know where you are.